Okay, so let's talk about what that means for risk adjustment in 2014. Um, let's see, Medicare Advantage start to current enrollment numbers look like this. As of 2014, there is an estimated four, uh, excuse me, 54 million people on Medicare in the U.S. Of those 54 million, about 70% are enrolled in traditional Medicare and the remaining 30% are enrolled with a Medicare Advantage plan. Since 2004, the number of beneficiaries enrolled in private plans has almost tripled from 5.3 million to 15.7 million in 2014. Huge difference. Uh, 2014 not only was a new year, but it was meant that the ACA was fully in effect and with that meant plan denials for pre-existing conditions and underwriting would now become extinct. Okay, now there's a greater risk for a higher mix, mix of six, excuse me, sick versus healthy individuals who are now going to be covered by an MA plan. Okay, this means that the MA plans are going to have to manage their members' care by coordinating with plan providers better than they have in previous years with better MLR management and member satisfaction for starters. Okay, so how does risk adjustment work? Okay, to understand the full scope of the hierarchical conditional uh, category coding or HCCs and become an expert in HCC uh, coding, you must first understand the nuts and bolts of the risk adjustment. So here we go. Risk adjustment or RAs is a hybrid of what you may know as traditional capitation. A traditional capitation system for a managed care organization pays a provider or group a fixed dollar amount on a per member per month basis. They call that the PMPM, um, which includes all services that a plan member may require during a calendar year. Okay. Traditional capitation arrangements will generally set a provider or a group the PMPM rate based on certain demographic factors that usually include the following. You've got the member's age, you've got gender, and geographic location. Medicare Advantage risk adjustment payment methodology takes traditional capitation and adds in additional dollars for those members who have active chronic conditions and, a higher, uh, and are higher in cost to treat. RA uses a classification system that takes a member's illness and groups them into what are known as hierarchical condition categories or the HCCs, which in turn have a, rel uh, let's see, a relative value to over 3,000 ICD-9 CM uh, codes. 2014, 3,166. This is going to increase. An HCC code is similar to uh, facility-based diagnostic related groups or DRGs which are used to determine hospital reimbursement. The HCC codes payment methodology is based on diagnosis codes and DRG codes are based on CPT for procedural codes. Okay, now let's talk about the parts of Medicare. You've got part A, B, C, and D. Medicare um, is a federal health insurance program and it consists of these four parts, the A, B, C, and D. So in part A, you're going to be covered for inpatient hospital, inpatient um, skilled nursing facility care, or SNF is what it's sometimes referred to, IP care in religious non-medical health care facilities, that means inpatient, home health, and hospice. Then you've got part B. These are going to cover uh, doctor services. The list here says office visits, screenings, therapies, preventative services, outpatient hospital, emergency care, ambulance, medical, surgical supplies, and durable medical equipment. So part C is um, different from traditional managed care, whereas plans are reimbursed higher for sicker members versus being reimbursed for higher uh, health for healthy members in the latter. A provider may treat a member whose chronic illnesses fall under several HCCs and for those HCCs that fall under a different category within the 79 HCC group currently. Okay, part D 
is Medicare Advantage prescription drug plans. That's going to cover pharmacy benefits offered by Part D plans or PDPs and MA health plans that offer Part D prescription drug benefits and that's considered MAPDs. Um, these include plans with a varying out-of-pocket requirements and that's all CMS regulated. So the Part A and B services includes coverage for extra dental, vision, hearing, and preventative services and some optional supplement services like gym membership and exercise classes. It's all based, you know, thinking, think preventative. Medicare Advantage plan receives payment uh, for each member from CMS. Payment is based on member predicted health status and demographic characteristics. And Medicare Advantage plans are regulated by CMS. Okay, so the Medicare Advantage plan types. To learn more about HCC coding and HCC coding training, click the button below to go to codingcertification.org or watch the next HCC coding video in this series.